Creutzfeldt Jakob disease is a rare and fatal neurodegenerative disorder theorized to be caused by an atypical protein isoform of a cellular glycoprotein known as the prion protein. CJD occurs worldwide, estimated to affect one in every million population, with symptoms often being relative to the individual patient. CJD patients will often come up negative in every medical test performed. The only indication is a small change in the MRI scan. It has no current cure. There are three main types of CJD, familial, sporadic, and infectious. Familial is when CJD is passed on as a hereditary form through mutation in the prion protein gene. If the gene is inherited from a parent, the child will get the disease. If affected sibling has another sibling, they have a 50% chance of being affected, with onset appearing at a younger age and often having slower progression. This is true for 10 to 15% of cases. Familial inherited forms include gerstmann strassler skanker syndrome and fatal familial insomnia. Sporadic is when CJD appears for no apparent reason, usually in late adulthood. This is true for 85% of cases. This form tends to have a very short course with rapid degeneration and apparent sudden onset of symptoms. Infectious is when CJD is passed to the patient via an external prion protein. This usually occurs in two forms, variant and iatrogenic. Iatrogenic form is possible during medical procedures where tools from previous neurosurgery, specific human tissue transplants, or growth hormone cases have been used. This has greatly decreased due to better procedure development and synthetic hormone use. Variant form is the most common way to catch CJD via infectious CJD. It results from exposure to cow products infected with bovine spongiform encephalopathy. Infectious CJD is the rarest type, affecting an estimated 1% of patients. CJD affects many different areas in the brain, meaning it can lead to a wide variety of symptoms that can make the disease difficult to place as it may mimic other illnesses. Symptoms can generally include memory loss, character-specific behavioral changes, lack of balance and coordination, speech and vision issues, jerky movements, difficulty swallowing, insomnia, hallucinations, and progressive loss of mobility and brain function. However, this can change depending on the patient and type of CJD. For example, sporadic CJD may often be a rapid degeneration with more obvious symptoms, where some familial cases may progress over a few years and can often mirror dementia and other such conditions. These differing symptoms occur depending on the gene mutation responsible. The majority of creutzfeldt jakob disease patients will die within 12 months of the symptom's first appearance, usually from infection. This is due to the immobility symptomatic of CJD and its ability to make people with the connection vulnerable to infection. According to the Health Information and Quality Authority of Dublin, creutzfeldt jakob disease transpires when prion protein, which is found throughout the body but whose normal function isn't yet known, begins unfolding into an abnormal three-dimensional shape. This shape change gradually triggers prion protein in the brain to fold into the same abnormal shape, known as the domino effect. Through a process scientists don't yet understand, misfolded prion protein destroys brain cells. Resulting damage leads to rapid decline in thinking and reasoning, as well as involuntary muscle movements, confusion, difficulty walking, and mood changes. Physicians suspect a diagnosis of CJD on the basis of the standard signs, symptoms, and progression of the disease. In most CJD patients, the presence of a 1433 protein in the cerebrospinal fluid and or a typical electroencephalogram pattern, both of which are believed to be diagnostic for CJD, have been reported. Your doctor will first rule out treatable illnesses that can develop like CJD with extremely progressive symptoms. The same symptoms and rapid progression can occur in association with brain inflammation, intermittent seizures, metabolic disorders like vitamin deficiencies, vascular disease of the brain, Alzheimer's disease, and dementias associated with Parkinson's disease. However, a confirmatory diagnosis of CJD requires neuropathologic and or immunodiagnostic testing of brain tissue obtained either at biopsy or autopsy.